Hey guys, my name is Gary. I'm a grateful recovering alcoholic and drug addict. And I am, uh, I'm just waking up here. I'm, I'm out getting my coffee. I'm actually, it's earlier. I got out earlier than Starbucks. Um, I think it's 6.30 now I can drive by there, but get my wallet out of my pocket here. It's hurting my butt. Uh, got my dog Bo with me. Come here, Bubble. Come here. Let me show you guys Bobo. Come here, Bobo. Come here, Bobo. Come here. Come here. This is Bobo, you guys. Say hi. Say hi, Bobo. Bobo and I are sober this morning. Oh, he's, he's a good guy. Bobo and I are sober this morning, and um, we're going to keep it that way today. Um, I want to shift you guys over to a channel. He just threw me a... He threw me a bone here a couple of weeks ago. I just noticed that. And, um, oh, okay. <laughs> Go scoot over there now. Everybody saw you. Okay, so my my friend Boondock, uh, I just I just saw he was like shifting everybody to my channel. Uh, but yeah, check out his, his thing. He's, you know, there's no competition for people that are trying to help each other, right? Um, we try to all help each other. It's a we deal. And Boondock's uh, trying to get sober. He's trying to um, he's trying this new way of life, and um, we do it together. Don't know the guy. Um, I've seen a couple of his videos, and I and one crossed my path this morning. I was um, waiting for Starbucks to open here, and um, uh, I, I you know he's going yeah I gotta yeah I want you guys to check out this this guy uh, Gary. Um, on sobriety and the five day God challenge. So, uh, go to boondock. I, I think that's his channel. Um, boondock, if I'm fucking this up, I'm sorry, but you'll see in my comments, um, on my last video, you know, you'll see boondock. Hey, by the way, you guys subscribe. Okay. And, uh, boondock, I, I do have a competitiveness about me and I just wanted to know, like, why do you have 450 fucking subscribers and I got 120, you know, um, how'd you do that? I want, I want, I want some of that juice, man. Uh, you know what? It just takes time, um, and time, 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 time. It'll happen. But yeah, you guys check him out. He's a, he's a good dude and he's, uh, he's getting sober and he, he speaks of, uh, positive, uh, his experience, right? He's not, he's like me. He's not sitting there going, you need to do this. You need to do that. Like some of these other people on, on here with this high production stuff. So, um, you know, the, the production here is low quality, but the message I try to send is, uh, of the highest, uh, message. You know, I speak of sobriety. I speak of of uh, my understanding of a higher power and uh you know i lost my son to an accidental fentanyl overdose uh four months and some change ago and um, how i'm getting through that sober and, and how i walked through that first um th the news of him you know i got the news of losing him at, at four months sober and and how i've gotten to this point sober so I, I never had to pick up a drink or a drug, you guys. I never had to, I never had to take that, that route because I probably wouldn't be here making videos, you know. I would be out uh, slamming dope or, you know, I'd be fucked up somewhere. Um, so today, had a good day yesterday and um, I got most of the things done I wanted to do and, and um, I made contact with that person. Okay. So I, I, you know, I've been praying, God, please put some people in my life that, that I can help that, uh, put me in an area where I could be useful, where I can, um, help some people, um, and help spread the message of sobriety. And, and kind of the way I do sobriety is by the 12 steps and the program of Alcoholics Anonymous. I go to a lot of meetings. I enjoy it it's it's I don't feel I have to go I want to go and I would suggest going to meetings until you feel that same way until you like to go you know in the beginning it's something we we feel we 
God, we have to do this for the rest of our life. Oh my God, how am I going to fucking do this? You know, when we have no discipline whatsoever when it comes to drugs and alcohol. So, or we wouldn't be quitting and, and saying, oh my God, I can't, I can't get through this. So, um, yeah, go to meetings till you like them and you'll watch, uh, watch how many friends you have after about 20 meetings. Cause it's a, it's a cool deal. Raise your hand, share, share what's going on inside you and how you're staying sober through it. And then if you don't know how to stay sober through a situation, raise your hand and say, help. Help, I need some help. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I need some guidance. Really hard for us prideful people to do. I do it. You know, I do it. And I go to those guys with 25, 30 years of sobriety, 45 years of sobriety. And sometimes, uh, you know, somebody uh, with with 30 days of sobriety, you know. Um, when I got to Alcoholics Anonymous, I, you know, the people I was looking at were the guys with 30 days of sobriety, 40 days of sobriety. 90 days, taking 90 days, taking a year, and because I was thinking, holy shit, you know, how the fuck do you do that? How do you get 30 fucking days? I can't get one day, right? Well, we learn to do it together. It's a we program, and, and we do it together. It's not an I program. Like, I'm do, look what I'm doing, and I win. I got 30 days. Ta-da! You know, uh, I've hit the program with that kind of attitude, and I've drank again. So it's kind of just surrendering to, the way I look at it is surrender, surrendering to, I've been beaten down by alcohol and drugs. I can't manage them. You know, I can't manage them into my life. If I could drink, you know, a couple days a week and do drugs a couple days a week, I would still be doing them. I would still be drinking. I would still be doing drugs. I lost the power of choice somewhere along the line. And... Uh, I was doing drugs and alcohol against my will. I would wake up in the morning and go, I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing this again. And an hour later, I'd be doing it. And just beaten into a state of reasonableness. Till I said, I can't do this anymore. You know, God, please help me. Please help make me willing to be willing to try. Um, I was so unhappy. Um... I'm happy today. And it's weird to say that, you know, I just lost my son. Now and and the two coexist. The two can coexist when you're when you're sober. I'm very sad. And yet uh I I'm very I, I'm happy inside. Uh I talk to my son all the time. Um uh, my relationship didn't die with my son when he died. My relationship changed. And uh, our, our way of communication changed. I talked to him, uh, and he, he talks back to me. I hear his voice in my head. Um, it's actually a very cool way to communicate. It's a, it's a very similar way I communicate with my higher power, that great reality. Uh, the only place I've ever found it is in that inner voice, that great reality found deep down within myself. Sometimes I can't hear that voice when I'm in turmoil, so I have to relax, take it easy, uh, clear the mind, and I do that through meditation and prayer. Do it through going to meetings, sharing about my troubles, what's going on inside Gary today. Um, so I'm gonna have a good day today. I'm meeting. I'm gonna drive to. Uh, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna grab my Starbucks right now. I'm drinking some shit coffee right now but it's actually pretty good um and i'm, I'm gonna go to a i'm meeting another friend in alcoholics anonymous uh, i've known him for 20 years and uh you know him and i have both had multiple years of sobriety and relapsed and uh he's fighting some health issues and also getting sober you know i think uh he's probably got if i got eight months he's probably got six so, um, I know I've got a little bit more time than him and I want, I want to keep it that way. Right. I tell the, there's these two women that I got sober with in the, in uh, my meeting that I go to. And I say, we're the class of 22 and we're going to keep it that way. Right. So, um, sometimes you never know what'll keep you sober. Sometimes it's just that one day you'll have a bad day and it is just that stubbornness of, 
I'm not giving up my fucking time, even though you want to fucking take a drink, because we are stubborn motherfuckers, right? Us alcoholics and drug addicts, we can, when we dig our heels in, look out, right? Sometimes if that's going to keep you sober, you know, just hanging on to that time, I, I refuse to give up my time. Well, today I, I refuse, you know, I have, you know, I have that in me, and, and there's days, you know, I tell myself on a daily basis, I refuse to live in fear. And how do I combat that fear? I combat that fear with talking to my higher power and through the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous and through meetings and helping others. So I'm going to hang out with my buddy today. I'm driving to Houston. I'm, I'm in Austin right now. I'm driving to Houston. I'm going to um, go gas up my truck, uh, go grab my Starbucks, go jump in the shower. I did laundry yesterday. And then we're going to go play some poker today. We're going to uh, uh, go play some poker. We're going to go gamble. And, uh, and you know, I, I got to I gotta be careful with the gambling thing because, you know, gambling, I could be feeding an addiction. And, um, you know, I've, I've fought that addiction. You know, many years ago, I would go to the racetrack every day. Uh, when I, I lived in California, I would go to Las Vegas a lot. And, uh, gambling would eat my lunch, like alcohol and drugs, you know? So, uh, I got to watch that. I'm going to sit and just, uh, I'm saying, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to play the most I'm going to play is $200. And that's it. If I lose the $200, I'm gone. I'm out of there. There's a pool hall next door and I'll just shoot some pool and drink soda. Listen to some good music. So I'm at 11 minutes, you guys. Have a great day because I believe it's it's our choice whether we want to have a good day or not. And if you don't have the tools to have a good day, uh, it does take some work sometimes. Today, it doesn't take a lot of work for me to have a good day. Um, I'm, I'm equipped with enough tools, and I found those tools in Alcoholics Anonymous, in the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous, and through the people in Alcoholics Anonymous. So I can't say enough about that program. All right, you guys, I hope you subscribe to my channel, please. If if, if you're listening to this for the first time and and you, you like anything that you just heard, please subscribe. And uh, let's do this together. I'm sure, uh, hit me in the comments box. Read some of the comments that people are saying. You know, there's a lot of people suffering from mental illness, from drug addiction. You know, there's people that are not drug addicts. And, you know, I've got nurses on here. Uh, you know, I, my good friend that I grew up with, she, she met, she, uh, said hi yesterday in the comments and I grew up with her. I dated her when I was 18 years old and, um, we've been friends for that long and I love her. So, uh, I'm not going to say her name. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I love you memes. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I often I, I often talk to her sister too, uh, Belinda. But I, she, uh, I didn't know her as well as I know uh, Mimi. But I'm getting to know her. Um, once in a while, we'll shoot each other messages early in the morning. We both get up real early, so um, yeah. Uh, there's so many people: Jen, Carrie, Doreen, Laura, Laura, whatever. Um, You guys are awesome. Thank you for your support. Boondock. Uh, Danielle Saavedra. Uh, she's also got a cool channel. Um, so yeah, I'll shift you guys over to Boondock and Danielle. Um, Boondock's pretty cool, man. Check him out. I'll talk to you guys later, man. Have a good, have a good Sunday. <laughs>